What's up guys? I'm Shane. Welcome back to our North Texas Dynasty. Alright, so last week Joey Millage did take home Offensive Player of the Conference, not of the week. That went to the North Carolina quarterback who had six total touchdowns. I love this screen. North Texas's Dodson predicts a loss for Arkansas. Alright, but are we talking about our head coach or our left outside linebacker? Because big difference there. So they're tougher than Ole Miss, obviously. They're ranked number 12, and hopefully we can knock them completely out of the top 25 today. These episodes are going to go so much quicker now because we're not going to bother going in the recruiting. Just jumping right into the game within like 25 seconds of the episode starting. Oh, I called a screen pass here. I was going to audible out of it, but that blitz is coming. Yeah, look at that. Serafino, just plow the road for me. Thank you, bud. Screen passes in the first few years were nothing to us. Now they're just instant touchdowns. <laughs> All right, maybe, just maybe, we'll, we're just going to load up on Millage and try and go for the Heisman. That's like the one sort of uh, brass ring we have not grabbed yet. Let's go for it. All right, there was a penalty against us on the uh, kickoff, so they get it all the way to 37 to start. <laughs> and Meadows doesn't care. Ah, oh, I saw the screen play. Bone Jangles is on top of it, though. Ah, oh, we got beat. Bonds is not the speedster, so a drag route could kill him. Block, come on. Six years in, 99 overall defense. Still can't stop a read option. Oh, I'm like, I got you this time. Now nah, he, he juked me out of my shoes. Wasn't even that good of a juke. USF beat FCS East 13 to eight. Wow. Remember when they smoked us way back in the day? That was a long time ago, clearly. All right, we stopped them on third and two. Are they going to... They should go for this field goal, right? Yeah. They stay kicking it to that right side. I want it out on the left. Like that, see? Come on, Hip. Beat that man. No, nah, it's all right. Still a 38-yarder. Safety blitz incoming. Donald Smith beat his man. Perfectly placed ball. That's another long touchdown pass. Now Emil's about to jump up on the Heisman watch, never mind. Saw that one. Seriously? Got you that time. Oh, we couldn't get off the blocks on the screen, but it didn't matter. He just took a sack. Good job, Booker. I'm going to assume another screen pass here. No, it wasn't. Okay. Yo, you seriously let him get an 18-yarder right there. There we go. Just bring Abrams in on a blitz. All right, Maurice Williams takes him down, forcing another fourth and two. And they're probably going to take another field goal, it looks like. End of the first quarter, and it looks like they're about to go for it on fourth and two here. According to what the play call that just came up was. No, they have us. I don't know why they called the defense. They're going for a field goal. Maybe they're definitely going for a fake here. Nope. Good prediction, guys. Oh, finally one out to the left. Pancakes galore. That one guy. They got the impact player on kick coverage, so... I don't think we're getting a kick return today. All right, the toss play was a huge mistake there. Now we're facing a third and 16. Okay, I tried to throw it away and he pump faked instead. Woo! That's what happens when you run zone. But they're instantly reviewing this one. I don't know, man. He probably got it. He didn't get that at all. Wow. They're probably going to give it to him because SEC bias. Oh, that's right. We're in the SEC too. We benefit from the SEC bias. Never mind. 
Oh my god, that was so close to being a block. I just want one. Come on, we got this overpowered team. Punt and block at a Heisman. That's all I'm asking for now. We've done everything else. Oh, here comes that big blitz again. I actually think Millage is the play, but... Nope, it was Donald Smith. That is only the third pass Emil has completed today. Two long bomb touchdowns and a nat one, which was still impressive. The other two were almost picks. These defenders just dropped them. Again with the safety? Hold on, I'm going to... If they're going to keep bringing that safety blitz, man, I want to I wanna run the ball. I do. But, oh my god. Oh, underthrown it a little bit. There's Donald Smith again. There we go. All right. Screen pass didn't work for us again, but 11-yard rush. Okay, so they keep wanting to go for a read option, but the problem is it's just, it's not working for us. I'm making the reads correctly and everything. It's just not... Okay, that guy didn't want to make a tackle today. But the read option is just not going to happen for us, which is fine. We don't need to rely on that. We can do so many other things running the ball that I don't really care if we have to make a read option. No trickery required. And yeah, Billy Bob was on the pole. He didn't get all of that guy, but he got just enough for Millage to get in the end zone. Okay, Bonds cannot cover Hoffman. It's every time, it's always Bonds getting beat. He made some big plays. He made a lot of tackles last week, yes, but I feel like he is the weak link in the secondary for sure. And Roden, actually, I forgot, he's an athlete. He's got like 80 catching. He should be able to grab these things. It's a bad angle for him. Oh, again, I had the angle, I had the read, and missed it. Hey, at least I'm not missing like open field tackles as badly. At least I'm missing him trying to run after a quarterback in space. It's not just like, no, I blew a tackle with a running back or whoever running right at me. Oh, he just trucked Abrams. All right, he might actually just be good. Got him that time. Almost blew it. All right, third and one. And we injured him. Yeah, I told you he was tired. And they kept run he kept scrambling, and that's it. Oh, I got under... Okay, he dropped it. I got under it, but I ran too far forward. I didn't actually think he was going to throw that one. Again with the safety blitz, man. We underthrew one of them, but otherwise you're getting dusted on these. Don't do it. Now it's Millage instead. Because for once, Donald Smith got pressed properly at the line. Okay, Billy Bob, I need you to actually hold a block, please. That was risky. I regret nothing. So quick slant should work here. Mitchell should be open. He wasn't. That was actually real good coverage. Usually I got Mitchell with that quick step. They'll probably get another score here. Hopefully we can hold him to a field goal. I'm not 100% concerned because it's keeping the game more interesting. You know, unless they keep making dumb plays like that. I think they might have just taken themselves out of field goal range. Now they got back in. Get off the blocks. Oh, that was me. I thought for sure he was going to cut back in. He kept going over the top. All right, well, kind of wish I didn't go for it on fourth that time. We're down, tw we're up 21-16 at least. But they're going to get the ball to start, so we need the defense to get another stop. Thank you! And Roden with the pick. That was a layup for him. All right, never mind. Back under control. Either way, that would have been a deflection, and they would have had to punt the ball. But at least we get it right in the scoring position. And there we go. Donald Smith in for a touchdown. <laughs> I have to keep hesitating because I never know which Smith I'm throwing to. But it's Donald. I don't know why. I think Peter Smith has one catch for five yards all season. Tupin hasn't seen anything so far. Okay. Bautista, I was not using him, and he actually made that tackle. 
I usually just end up switching. I don't want to cover the tight end. You saw what happened today when I did that. Oh, mistimed that one. At least he only got four yards on it, but that, that should have been a four-yard loss. All right, I'm going to keep running man. The problem is I'm worried about Hoffman over there with Bonds. Not oh, screen pass. Dodson shoves him out of bounds. All right. He punted that out of bounds. I don't even think he got across midfield. Yeah, all right, so we're starting at the 46. What's the flag? Is it on us? It sure is. Ah, oh, Ginsburg. He's a freshman. It's okay. He's a freshman. He's got to learn. Clark's going to be coaching him up. Over the top to Peter Smith. There's a nice catch for him. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. I would throw it to you, Smith, but, uh... Yeah, that was easier for me to just run at that point. Because of the damn sacks we've taken... Emil's got a couple pretty good runs today, and he's only got like five yards total. Tannehill over the top. His first catch on the day. I feel really bad for Cole Tupin, for Peter Smith, because I named these guys. You know, these were requests, and I gave you guys the slowest receivers. Imagine if I had gone Donald Smith instead. But he had already played a game, that's why. He was like a, Peter Smith was a very late addition. But if I had done Donald Smith instead, that would have been excellent. Plus, let's be real, Cole Tubin and Peter Smith would both be like on the bench right now. If they weren't named players, that would be it for them. Alright, Millage, on the other hand, he's getting some real show. Alright, so we're up 19. You gotta figure they're gonna start going for more passes, right? Now. Sloppy tackles. Oh, good read by Bonds, but it didn't matter. He broke right off of him. Sort of what happens when you got two people coming at you at once. Sometimes they'll actually, like, take away from each other's tackles. I blew the coverage on the running back. Went to go chase after him, but he had already taken off instead of taking the easy dump off. And ran right into me. I didn't even have to try on that one. And he actually got taken down for a sack. Bone Jangles hurt him, too. Just saw him roll over there at the end. Not a serious injury. It didn't fade to black. Alrighty, end of the third quarter. We have a pretty decent lead. They're going to go for a field goal here, it looks like. Unless they're going to go aggressive and try and go for a touchdown. But should have it in hand. Oh, I went for the pick. I should have gone for the SWAT. Yeah, Roden couldn't defend that one. Here we go. Get these blocks. Didn't get these blocks. You know what I noticed, though? Griffin's not out here. That might be why. Like, somehow we traded off Griffin for Donald Smith on these. And no... Why, why are we allergic to stopping the middle linebacker? Why are we allergic? There's three down linemen. We have five linemen. It's because Billy Bob just goes right after the center. Tannehill got open. Set up blocks, set up blocks. Good pancakes. Millage fell down, though. That was some real good blocking. I just happened to trip over some guy's calf. You know what? They keep calling Hail Mary almost every single play. It's in the playbook almost every time. We're going to do it. Why not? That's why not. <laughs> I don't understand why Hail Mary is always there. It's first and ten. Why was it there? That was also just a... I kind of thought Mitchell was going to go somewhere else on that one. You knew I couldn't go through a game without a pick. <sighs> Good draw play. Why is Emil out there? Nah, just... Oh! Abram, not Abrams, Davis on that one, actually. Davis stays hitting these people. 
All right, Lewis, uh, they got the completion, but it went for zero yards, so good tackling. He tries to take off and take him down. That's Bone Jangles with another sack. Third and 12, and if they don't get it, they're going to go for it on fourth. Screen. Tex Black has that all day. Got beat. I know we haven't played Arkansas before, but I feel like I've gotten beat by Breedlove before. Probably just one of those names you remember. Bonds. Nope. Oh. That wasn't very nice, Thomas. If I lose this game because I went for that freaking Hail Mary, just as a joke. They're already calling timeouts. They're going for blitzes. They're not going for Tannehill here. You call your timeouts. I'm trying to chew clock, yes. But I'm not going to actually... Like, I'm not going to run chew clock. I'll just take dinks and dunks if I can get them. But if you're going to leave stuff like that open, I'll hit you over the top. If I can waste all your timeouts and put up a touchdown, you're done. All right, they are out of timeouts. We're not quite in field goal range, but we're just about there. Ooh. Oh, no! Right. Peter Smith broke off that guy, and then he fumbled it. Oh, no! I was going to challenge it, but I want my timeouts. And the sack. Oh, thank you, Booker. That is a huge one. They got no timeouts. You just cost them eight more yards. Okay. Thank you, Bone Jangles. No, that's, that's cool. No, thanks. Go for it. Another sack. Oh, okay, 4th and 20. They can't spike the ball. Meadows gets back there. It all comes down to this play, guys. And another sack. Phil Meadows, two sacks in the final two plays. Whew, boy, okay. I don't like this. I don't miss these kind of games. Competition only gets harder from here. Yeah, all right. This is probably way more entertaining for you. I put it on conservative. How are you going to fumble the ball? I had it on conservative. Yo, Miller's about to get benched. Oh, he was down. Come on, Booth. Don't let me down. He was down. I'm taking a knee. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm taking a knee. Nope. Nope. No scumbag Shane here. I'm going to take a knee. I still might kick a field goal, but I'm going to take the knee here. That was the most stressful game we have gone through, I think, since, like, season one. You know, even the national championship, as much as that was a back and forth for a while at the end, it, you know, that last play that Walker got, that was still a Hail Mary with no time left on the clock. It's not like it was like, oh, my God, we have to make this. This was even more stressful than that. But we had to lead the whole game anyways. Hey, look, Austin Owen getting in there on a screenshot. All right, final stats on the day. Emil goes 14 to 21, three touchdowns and a pick, 312 yards, took three sacks. Not much on the ground here. Millage had 49 yards and two touchdowns. Again, no broken tackles. Emil with 19 yards, but a lot of sacks took away from that. Millage, four catches, 111 yards and a touchdown. Donald Smith, four for 113 and two touchdowns. Tannehill, three for 56. Peter Smith, three for 32 and the fumble that almost cost us the game. Two more pancakes from Billy Bob. Bautista double-digit sacks again, including a TFL. Abrams with eight tackles and a TFL. Booker had two sacks. Meadows with two sacks, both of them on those final two plays. Bone Jangles, four total TFLs and obviously two of them sacks. Matt Roden with the one pick. He also had a pass deflection. Nothing exciting today on kick returns, but Hip did have 165 yards at least. Oh, I am over this nonsense. All right, next week, we're going to get our crap together. No way, we're playing number three, Florida. Next week, we might finally lose. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. If you have any favorite memories from this entire series, leave that down in the comment section below so I can start putting a compilation together. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to unless you're the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.